Hiya guys, Mark here from Mark's Matchbox Memories. A few of you have message asking why I don't do more Hot Wheels. And the answer is simple. As of late, Hot Wheels hasn't been as good as it was, in my opinion, pre-1990s. Um, the models like Hightail Hauler, the Woody Wagon, etc. They was exciting and fun. They replicated the cars, which they actually were, same as the trucks. And the haulers, they actually look like a truck. The ones today are so futuristic and far gone. Um, you, you, I can't even relate to that, I think, as such. But having said that, recently, Mattel have been doing the Hot Wheels Premiums. Now, we're going to be looking at this set in ultra fine detail. And people say that it's replacing the Matchbox Premier. No, it's not. When you look at the details on the car, they're still not as good as the Matchbox Premiers. For example, on this Matchbox Premier here, Castle Main 4X, it's got the ultra fine detail, or hand painted. This isn't printed. Uh, a sticker on the side or nothing. This is actually a, a layer painted trailer is built up in different layers of print. Well, it is sort of print, but it's a pink painted print. Whereas on the, the Hot Wheels Premiers, as you see, when we get into it, like on the 6R4, the windows, uh, the mirror, etc. are still cast in our ultra fine detail. They will still take a beating um, on something like the Premiers. They're more of a collector's model than a toy, which is what the match, which is what Hot Wheels will always will be, a toy. So, right, we're going to get uh, this unboxing now. We can have a look at the difference and what we got to offer. First up then, let's have a quick look around the box. Really nice clear presentation, nice open box. Uh, the 6R4, uh, what could be a Bedford van. They call the Rally Hauler, the Lancia Delta and the Ford RS200. Which wasn't actually made by Ford, it was made by a, a company called Reliant. We made the, the skimter, not a lot of people know that. Right, so okay, let's have a look around the box, come back. So, nothing special about the sides. You now, orange and black livery. We've just got our uh, Ford RS200, Lancia Delta Integrale, MG Metro 6R4, and the Hot Wheels. Rally hauler and all the usual BS here will conform into California health and safety laws, it doesn't contain anything cancerous and all that, blah blah blah, blah which doesn't affect us in Europe whatsoever. Okay, then, folks, let's get her open, let's see what we're looking at. Box still sealed. Oh, it's much better. You can see the colours now on the cars. Very nice. I'm going to switch over the switch over the lens on the camera now and get a good close up. Okay, the box then, as you can see, she's all sticker taped and cable tied down underneath. So I'm going to remove all these carefully off camera. There we go. We're going to look at a good look set. then. I don't know the Lancia Delta HF Integrale. This is on the cusp of the Group B. The S4 version, being the 1800 twin turbo charged, supercharged engine, produces about 490 horsepower. This Hot Wheels version, however, doesn't have quite so much power. But the actual tension to detail in the correctly scaled car to 196 thousands, slightly smaller than the standard regular Hot Wheels. This premium is super detailed. Pay notice attention as well on the Ford. Here the RS200 with the bodywork done by Reliant. The printing on all the vehicles in the set is fantastic. 
the van itself, the hauler, is a mixture of a couple of different designs. From some angles, it looks like a Bedford. From other angles, it looks like a Dodge. But the finished result is quite nice. All the correct detailing on the skirts of the van and the Hot Wheels, etc. is all beautifully done. Even the floors are painted on all four models and the trailer, as you can see here. Um, even the smallest details on the car, such as the Bilstein uh, headlamp covers, um, even RS200 can be seen uh, clearly on the rear, as, I, as I'm showing. The Ford badge is perfectly readable, minuscule as it is. The only thing I didn't like was, was how it was attached to the box, this rubber band. It was a bit of a struggle to get off without damaging the packaging. I cut them off in the end so they can no longer be reattached. The 6R4 Metro, um, particularly well done, especially the riveting. Silver riveting here around the air intakes. And the, the fresh air displacement grills on the rear are all meticulously copied. Even the tiny MG badge on the front is a fantastic reproduction. For my money, this is probably the best set Hot Wheels has ever done. And if you're a die hard rally fan, you really, really should get yourself this set. It's, um, I cannot give enough superlatives about the quality of this Hot Wheels set. Even the, the van itself, and um, the, the tiny deals such as the, the running lights on the front, um, the roof rack are all painted in. Even the trailer is perfectly, I mean perfectly painted with no blemishes or rims in the paint anyway. All the tamper printing on the side, as you can see you have the, the brake lights, the indicators, uh, the side lights are all perfectly painted in. That is not details folks, it is actual painted. There is um, decals however for the headlights. But I can forgive Hot Wheels for this because it's so hard to do headlights on decast cars or diecast. It makes it incredibly hard to do. The OZ wheels are particularly well replicated on the Ford as well. Something what I like about this is it's got the, the silver rims which were true to the rally car. Um, it could have been gold which it would have been on the Ford at the time. But I think it's uh, they can be let off with that because the cost of the set against the fantastic detail you get for the set you have to lay off one against the other i love the metro as she's a great car i think she could have done it with a set of oz wheels the same as on the lancia uh it that's what would be fitted at the time and uh, i think it would have suited the character of the car better not to say they, they haven't done a fantastic model, that's just a minor detail. Maybe something Hot Wheels can bring out in an update set or another set later down the line. But thanks for having a look at this lovely set with me guys. And I'm going to hand you back over to Mark now. And he's going to tell you about what's coming up as we go on the channel. Like the custom convoy you can see here. Thanks and bye bye. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video on the Group B rally set from Hot Wheels. First one I've really done on Hot Wheels stuff um, as I generally do the Matchbox. Next time we'll be doing one of the Dinky Convoys. So I'll be a nice little bit looking for. And also this week before time runs out, I want to try and get in the ACDC Thunder Truck. Here we go. Absolutely stunning model that. Really nice, probably one of the best Hot Wheels they've ever done. Wasn't a big fan of Hot Wheels in the last few years, but of the Hot Wheels premiers, such as the Group B Rally set, and the ones they've actually put some real effort into, like these. Look at the paintwork on that, that is stunning. It's, um, I'm being won over. So I'm a fan of the standard range, but 
We'll see how it goes. And I need to have a word with 3D Bot Maker as well to see if it was Crazy Jimmy who had a hand in designing the packaging on the rally set because that was a nightmare to get out without ripping everything. Um, so I'll see you on the next one. Do all the lovely crazy stuff underneath. Like all the clicks, likes, subscribes, shares, thanks and all that sort of shenanigan. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys. Thanks and bye bye.